Namaste, my beautiful queens, kings of any. Mostly queens. Today, today's reading is his soul and his body. I think I have already explained you many times or maybe several times that uh, what comes to men especially the uh, <clears throat> level of their soul connection uh, of their physical connected to uh, their non-physical can be different and uh, if the soul of his has his own words towards you and has his own um, uh, feelings and emotions towards you, his physical body can have the same or can have absolutely different. Because when we already uh, incarnate in our physical body, <clears throat> we don't take a hundred percent of our very essence with us into our physical incarnation we take uh, according to our soul development from 25 to 75 percent so you already live in two worlds but i want to see uh, whoever you want to get the answer about we will see how connected he is with his soul so let's do this we will take the choose uh, yourself a deck uh, you can choose a deck uh, number one. Uh, we will do the Arcanum. You can choose deck number two, which is uh, the uh, Fatum, sh the Shadow one. And I want to use the Wheel of the Year, uh, the deck number three. If you have questions about more than one man, then, of course, obviously, you can do it uh, you know, one deck for one man, one deck for another man. Maybe this man you knew 10 years ago and this one you know now. <clears throat> so however you want to do it. So let's do this. His uh, soul, his body. Let's see how connected they are, how in harmony they are. Asking the uh, spirits of fire, earth, air and water, the guides and keepers, the guardians, uh, to give us the answers to our questions, to my forehead, to my mouth, to my heart, and uh, like that. And I will take deck number one. And uh, queens, you know me how I do it. Whatever the cards, I'm, I'm checking if I'm holding it in upright position. Whatever the cards are going to tell us, this is what I will tell you. What his soul want to tell wants to tell you two cards. What his physical uh, physical level of his wants to tell you. His soul, his physical. Let's let's make it simpler. His soul, his physical number one. Oh. Yeah. His soul is lost. Oh, he is so sad. Okay. So, we are having a devil here. Major Arcana. A devil. And his soul is screaming, of course, uh, that his soul is in shadow. And next to it is Nine of Cups. Why his soul is in shadow? His soul tells you that he can't get through to him at all. And uh, unfortunately, uh, his soul can't help you with him anyhow. Because Nine of Cups... Uh, is clear, uh, clearer in another deck, but he completely lost connection to his soul and devoted to the pleasures of his life. In complete shadow, in complete shadow, he uh, manipulates, he plays 
with people, with women. His desires are so strong that shadows the voice of the soul. He is not uh, like it. He can't. Uh, his soul says he, it can't. At a point of us speaking, get through to him at all. He is in shadow, in really, in real darkness, in real shadow. So he he uh, finds pleasure in turning women. And not just women, but else also people into uh, his emotional and uh, non-emotional slaves. He enjoys how women, especially, especially stronger, deeper than him, he charms them. He uh, makes them fall for him. He wears multiple masks. He's a charmer. He is a seducer, and uh, he simply sees a woman throwing herself to his feet or bringing her heart on a silver platter, uh, and uh, he just takes it and enjoys it. He enjoys having people become his slaves. It's a tyranny. It it is. Uh, Every one of those women is terrified to lose him, but he plays with them like a cat with a mouse. Um, he is uh, obsessed with power, could be sexual obsession, uh, he could be enjoying strange type of uh, sexual pleasures. He... Um, manipulates he controls he enjoys to take some someone very pure and uh turn them into the shadow it's 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 a soul his soul says to you i am crying with tears i am crying with bloody tears of course uh, he very possibly before incarnating he chose uh very huge temptations for himself in order to go through uh, and to learn to deal with them. But when they started to happen, he fell into the same trap. So he probably uh, is a beautiful man, probably is a handsome man. And uh, so he comes uh, becoming the fatum for, uh, for the Women, usually women, because like this woman here, uh, he comes to uh, very serious. But also it's a warning to you. It's a warning to you. His soul tells you that he is in a deep shadow. And if you, you show any weakness at all, because the pool this man creates towards himself, is non um, is is extremely hard to get away. If you are a man, then this woman is so-called Lilith, the shadowy part of a sacred female. So um, this is severe codependency. So please be careful. Please stay away from him now if you can uh, because it's a really dangerous so uh, his soul tells you you have to be careful with him his soul is not nowhere to be controlling him his physical and look at this and he <laughs> wow wow like look at this mirroring arcanas uh, these two arcanas are considered mirroring, hierophant and devil. So in his physical, he presents himself as a absolutely pure, honest and wonderful man. And in his physical, he tells you that you, you know, makes you believe, can make you believe that 
you are his queen of cups and uh, he can make you believe that he he's very serious about you he plays the uh, where is the mask of hierophant while being a devil at his core we we are having extremely like extremely dangerous very dangerous man here his influence is humongous very often you know what it is it's like a false guru it's a teacher who presents himself I, I even saw stories like this. It's a, it's the saint who presents himself like a savior, like a teacher of some huge spiritual truth. And he ends up sleeping with uh, dozens of women. I think they even created some community when they thought he was um, like something like uh, a saint, a messiah, and they had children from him and they were... It was horrific, but this is a false guru, so he can present himself uh, as someone. You see what, what can happen here. Uh, it's a very ancient uh, spirit, and he was searching for the spiritual truth at some point, but he got lost. Probably he had learned something. And uh, then instead of using it at the good way, in the good way, he started to use it at the wrong way. So this is the mask of being hierophant while underneath it, it's a big danger. So he presents himself to you. His physical tells you, I am a hierophant. And... Uh, I am searching for one woman who is going to be my queen. I'm going to marry her and I'm going to stay with her for the rest of eternity. But in fact, we are dealing with the devil. You know, being honest with you, this is really... dangerous because such such brilliant mask wearing he he practices so um i would probably get uh, into it like if you can get a private reading with me or with someone else if this man is really very close to you and you're dealing with him my advice to you please keep your eyes and ears open and please watch all my videos about manipulation so you know exactly when you are being manipulated because pretty much he has them women believe his dream come true and they believe him uh this is a hero fun a devil can make anyone believe anything so you need to be careful second duck bottom his soul, two cards, am I holding it? I'm holding it, yes. Body. <sighs> They're hangman. Okay, what's going on with the men? The Empress in up in reversed position <clears throat> and the hangman. So uh, the hangman is really a very spiritual card, but unfortunately the Empress in reversed position show us you. You are the Empress in reversed position. What does it mean? In your relationship, any development is non-existing it's stopped and uh, another case of the soul not capable of doing nothing another case of 
uh, man disconnected with soul being only in physical. But also the warning of the soul towards you, he is he has very negative aspects in his physical <clears throat> uh, form. It's being sly and wanted power, power of himself over you. And excessive, excessive egocentrism. You want family. Empress wants family. Beautiful home, children, fireplace, logs cracking in a fireplace. But, unfortunately, even if you had a family with him the way he is now, his soul tells you it would be horrific. If talking about uh, he arises his self-esteem at your expense by keeping you hanging on, Whatever problems are rising, he absolutely does nothing. But the worst is, I already told you, the three biggest things you know you are being manipulated. Illogicality, uncertainty. Means you don't know when something is going to be happening you don't know will it be happening you don't know what is really happening he either doesn't do nothing or simply none uh, of just being silent so his soul of course tells you that to be hanging out there you are sacrificing yourself. Girls, you know me. You know me perfectly well. I only will read you the cards. Okay? This is what I do. When cards are beautiful, I will read you beautiful. Less beautiful, I will tell you less beautiful. You are hanging out there sacrificing your time your desires your dreams many things because you're trying to make this relationship works working and his soul tells you that at the at the moment his soul has no control and no connection with him you are in a big crisis right now and probably you have been in this crisis for a long time so his soul tells you it's not worth it to keep on hanging everything is not moving everything just stopped you could feel apathic sad depressed powerlessness you can feel like you had hope nothing came true. You probably don't even have anything. No uh, dates, no talks, no lovemaking, nothing. Another thing this man could be having, either a wife or another partner who is also hanging out there. So the soul tells you, you are on a cross you put yourself on a cross sacrificing yourself your principles the things you believe how they should be but this is a sacrifice which would not be uh, would not bring you the results you want but this experience is very transformational extremely transformational so it's a, it's a very uh, significant skill for you 
but that's not something his soul would tell you keep on doing. His physical. So the guy is married, huh? For, for some of you. For some of you, definitely, all these cards are about married men. Here is, there is a wife, queen of pentacles, and there is an emperor. Of course, for many of you, the reading I'm doing, so for some of you, is not married men, but for some of you, absolutely married men, because emperor's reversed, and uh, so if it's a married man, forget about it, for, just forget about it. Plus, there is an emperor, he never gonna leave his throne and his wife. Never, ever. Even if the uh, apocalypse happens. His physical is emperor. Even if he is not married, unfortunately, this man will only marry. There are going to be no feelings, no emotions. He will only marry queen of pentacles he will only marry when the woman which will get him somewhere where he wants to be and he wants to be on the throne so his physical is the biggest knock you can think of and can imagine he wants a throne he wants position he wants money. He wants control. Again, if he's married, he is going to stay there. No matter if you're going to uh, nail yourself to the cross and hang there for 10 years. He will not leave his throne. Forget about it. He's also heartless and can be acting soulless and heartless. He will marry only. The woman who is going to bring him position and money. Otherwise, he's not going to do it. He knows what he wants. And he will marry uh, the woman who will get him position and money right away. In a, in a blink of the eye. Instantly. Feelings, emotions, uh, <laughs> really none. Absolutely means nothing to him. But his soul is another case of soul crying. No connection to the soul. Girls, what can I do? Such cards. Such are the cards. This is what makes me different from anything and every other readers. I will tell you how this, how the things are. Deck number three. There. Okay, let me see if I hold it in upright position. All right. So, soul, two cards, the Wheel of the Year deck. Physical. Okay. Are, are all of them soul? Terror. Terror. And terror and fear. The Nine of Swords. What put his soul into non being able to do, to have any influence onto him? We are having here this very interesting card, Six of Cups. We see a woman who is looking at a man and a woman. It's her memories. It's her memories. So, uh, this is how these cards almost work like Oracle deck. You probably had been with this man, like right here. But you are not with this man right now. Or you are not with this man, but you're dreaming to be with this man. Maybe if you have not been with him before, you're dreaming. And um, his soul tells you that you are afraid. You are afraid and also 
there was something uh, probably in his childhood which created this disconnection, some tragic situation. Probably uh, he was abandoned by his mother or his parents or something happened. But his soul tells you that you should not be like this. You are terrified to leave the past in the past. You keep on dreaming and keep on hoping. You, the, the thing is that it's like fanaticism. You worry about him, uh, but this, you fanatically loving this man, doubting, uh, dreaming, hoping. But there is two words I can tell you about these two cards. Heartless passion, heartless love. So you, your heart is full of suffering. And this relationship, they don't exist in reality. For most of you, such are cards. I am reading you the cards. They are only exist in your dreams. And all these fears and doubts, insecurities and intuition, it's like, like those black crowds over you. You're very lonely. But if you are married to this man, if this is your husband, you are extremely lonely and terrified and unhappy in your marriage. It's like you are in prison. But you are crying night. You're dreaming about being with him. Uh, you're obsessed with him. You are ready to sleep at the carpet, uh, at, the, at the door carpet before his door it's like you creating an idol out of this man his soul screams to you please don't do this please don't do this you you are because he it's a tyranny if you were put together with this man the way he is now it would be terrifying experience because he would treat you horrible. And you probably understand that at the same time you panically scared to lose him. For some of you, this man cheated. He cheated and you know you have to just get out of it. But this is called adrenaline endorphin codependency codependency and you can't forgive him cheating or he can be a horrific abuser spiritual mental emotional abuser and everything in you screams you need to get out but you sit alone and dreams that because there were a couple of days which were good with him and many days which were terribly bad, but you're somehow hoping. Uh, you're dealing with heartless person here, heart completely heartless. The uh, psychopath, not just a manipulator, could be a psychopath, heartless, cold and merciless. His soul screams to you, please be careful. There is no control of, of the soul over this man, what he is now. Physical. Girls, I am, I, you know. Oh. Death. And. Rebirth. Ended. Please end that. And everything with this man. 
so you can start all new and the sun can start shining for you and you stop walking in the snow. Any hopes for this man only will bring you sooner or later. So for some of you, you broke up with him. For some of you, you divorced. For some of you, he's gone. For some of you, he, like you're not together, most definitely. So end it, death card. His physical, if it was sincere, would tell you just, just end it because it's already been dead. You can't resurrect a dead horse and start new because what you want, you want no less but a miracle. No less but an absolute miracle. Dead horse which died um, a week ago, somehow is going to jump and start running. You want a rock to turn into a puppy. You want a snake to turn into a swan. And Death Card tells you, it's that it. Leave the past in the past and just let this happen. Because as soon as you let that be gone, this is going to happen. The sun will shine and the spring will start. This is new everything. New life, new love, changes in every level of your life. You are walking through the gate of karma. You are leaving behind all the pain, but you have to make that step. This is what his physical, if he was honest, was you tell you. This is it for this reading, my beautiful queens. Such, such are the cards. I already told you I read the cards. However the cards are, I will tell you this. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. If you feel there is a truth there, no matter how angry you become, just be on alert. Namaste.